That's me, I'm five. So do we want to just use these as the divide point then? Because then we can just like trim them out? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we don't have to talk to them. Ah, oh, fuck yes! Ah, uh, yeah. So what are your feelings on Sources Unknown? Double question mark. Sources Unknown. He, he's a cool guy who was kind of underused. This is the thing, though, is... Oh, man, do I want to talk about... No, I really shouldn't talk about this yet. Because, <laughs> like, they're going to be releasing at the same time, and I don't yeah. want to spoil my no-spoilers thing in the other run, just because it's like, <laughs> no one gives a shit about the Zero run through. I could just say whatever I want here. <laughs> But we'll have words about it later on when it's more relevant. Yeah. But he, he's one of my favorite characters. Mm. I thought of Christopher Walken's face on his helmet for the irregular version. <laughs> wow. I don't remember why. I'm pretty sure because I was accidentally giving him a Walken voice at first. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> it wasn't really my intention, it just happened. But that's an image that's on my hard drive now. That's great. Christopher <laughs> Arrogant. <laughs> Dynamo walking. Dynamo walking. All right. So now, uh, Stephen Adler. Okay. Cool. Can't wait to learn more music trivia. <laughs> this is exactly what I tuned into this channel for. <laughs> the fuck's a video game? I don't know a video game. This guy. is this is a vinyl. So what does Stephen Adler do? <laughs> ah, that drums too. I don't. know What's it say? Yeah, 1985 to 1990. Is that an actual printed out stapled packet of information? Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, that's right. This one starts off with this thing. Well, luckily you don't have to collect any of the baubles. Yeah. I you mean, they have baubles that. Yeah. Zero. Jesus Christ. I said you don't <laughs> have to do it. <laughs> but I, I like getting them. No, I don't pick up the shiny thing. That means death. You want to do it. You know you want to do it. Just fall down the hole, Zero. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. man, part of me almost wants to do this for you, but Ooh, I can't. That's the thing. When I was, like, my very first practice run, I got it my second try. Like, I have done the ride chaser-related thing so many uncomfortable times now that, like, it will this never one. be an issue. This one. I know. This two. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's shiny Christmas <laughs> ornament karma. <laughs> I want animated chip Christmas ornaments. We need to invest in a bunch of, like, uh, the LCD video screen picture frames. This fucking mother- Whoa! Ah, damn it! My whole heart. <laughs> Sorry, that can pass me with this shit. I can feel my hot dog again. Alright, so... In, in my heart. For next Christmas, when we get all these LCD picture frames... <laughs> They're all going to be the zero flashing blue Christmas in it, right? Yes. This cover the freedom? Yes. We did yeah. actually use that in our video, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I duct taped my phone to the top of our tree. <laughs> Everybody watch, damn it! Oh, now we get to see what happens if you don't get all of them. Yeah, it's a, you just shoot them, and it's like, nope. Yeah, I know. Look at that cool, I don't give a shit firing pose. Fun We're fact, in. even when Zero's buster's broken if you start his X, he still does that. He'll also always use the buster in the boss fight. Yeah. Which, spoilers, there's boss fight. Whoa. What? I didn't know that. Oh. Save the Bimmies. Save the not Mega Man. Uh, I think those are techno? No, uh, but like palette swapped? I know there's a MIDI lookalike in the next game, spoilers. I don't... Because everyone's real invested in that. Yeah, that's very important to the general lore, yes. Now I'm not going to watch X6! It has nothing to do with the fact that 6 is balls! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the museum! Oh yeah. god! Everybody get ready to learn! I don't want to edit X6! <laughs> I don't want to do it yet! I'm pretty fascinated to see the convenient way to do this at zero. Thanks for explaining that. <laughs> oh fuck, there's two of them now! This is a lot easier with Grizzly Slash as a weapon. Oh, I believe that. Oh god, those are totally Mega Man. No, they're little Technos! I don't remember Techno. Techno's the one with the dip that goes vertical. Techno's the bad one. The one that Sigma yeah. is good at toying with. He's the one with base face. 
base well, may sound like a really unfortunate condition. Well, yeah. Extreme was so long ago. Extreme so. was so irrelevant. Oh, so God, it was. You say that this is easier with Grizzly Slash's weapon. This part isn't. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, like, as far as I've read, the actual crescent part of it doesn't actually have a hitbox. So really, it's just a flashier version of uh, Quinzon. Yeah, basically. Quinzon is the spin jump. It's the Sonic the Hedgehog. And then the Quin Boo is the double jump. Because you get two things from one boss in that one, which honestly is the most interesting Zero trivia for me. Same with this one, actually. Grizzly Slash gives you the double jump here, too. Why are we talking about Grizzly Slash so much? Which is weird, because it doesn't list that on the wiki. I mean, hmm, Slash. Indeed. Now we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. So in the irregular version, I die here. Ooh. I don't know if that's spoilage or not. Oh man, I just realized. Well, I guess we can't do that. I guess it's the case for zero one. So, oh! <laughs> remember that part about my whole heart? <laughs> Sorry, right, you got seven lives. It's cool. You're gonna drive me to drink. That would be impressive. What's the checkpoint on this? I think it's like right behind me. No, I don't think it is. But, oh no, it's it's back at the double one. That one that I hate. That I actually managed to do pretty easily. I don't think it is. I think it's at the end of the right chaser segment. No, it's not. It's not. It's, I don't think it's close to here, yeah. but it's yeah. not that far. I'm glad this isn't just me that had trouble with this shit, though. Yeah. I Meanwhile, mean, to be fair, you had a gun thing. And you could crouch it. Yeah, but I also died like twice in here, too, so. Oh, yeah, you jumped through the door and it crushed you. Ooh, that didn't Did happen. I actually oh, get crushed? Oh, no. uh, I know. No, you saw the left oh, so you jumped down into this fight. Yeah, I panicked more than anything. You got this? <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. Oh god, I'm just uh. back. <laughs> it's okay. No one said the zero runs would be professional. We say as one of the other zero runners did a no damage run. Yeah, I'm not game three, by the way. Don't know if you noticed. I just really like the fact that now the zero runs are like a nice non-standard sort of thing. It's like, who knows what to expect? The next one, maybe he just doesn't kill enemies, period. That'd be impressive. That would be kind of the best run. Terrible. Only X with his two-gun arms. Zero was more of a pacifist than X in the X3 run, so... Well, in fairness, he doesn't really do anything in that. It's hard to not be a pacifist when you're not participating. In the Zero run, we did. Yeah. Oh, 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 the actual yeah. zero. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's true, but that was because it was like a speedrunny thing. Oh, yeah! That means each zero run so far has been completely unique. We had a speedrunny one, we had a no damage one, and now we have a normal guy one. We have a normal live commentary one. There's also that. Yeah. So, Volt Kraken is probably going to kill me. That's Don't my do that. Assumption. I, what, I, are you talking to him or me? Both. Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens. He does not reference his best friend and or brother in this one. Really? Yeah. You mean we don't get to hear about a mistranslation character? Uh, yep, nailed it. Yes. Mistranslated character name? Nope. Huh. Zero didn't have anything to do with that. He's cool. Got well, I mean, each other. he was around. Yeah, but he didn't do anything. <laughs> and whose fault is that? Uh, Zero. Zero, Zero is he walking around in circles with a magnifying glass trying to find Sigma's <laughs> fortress. <laughs> Oh my god, see, now I want, like, an Ace Attorney-style game where it's just, like, Zero, like, hmm, where's the clue here? And X is just in the background, like, Zero, go through the fucking camera! <laughs> oh, Zero would totally be Edgeworth. <laughs> oh god, no, that Holy would be crap, this is a long section. Yeah. Look, this is growing out. He's not evil yet. He's just about to be evil. Oh my god. There we go. Now he... Oh, does he still woo? Mavis Beacon. That's what he's saying. Does he still woo, though? I don't think he woos. Motherfucker. <laughs> Goodbye, wow. Steven Adler. Fucking zero. Don't worry, I'll happily kill you. <laughs> I guess he sounded a little remorseful there, but at the same time... He could have sounded more remorseful or hesitated for even a hot second. I mean, he hesitated long enough to say, I will kill you. <laughs> Which seems like a zero thing to do to me. Your handling is better than mine did. <laughs> At least in terms of dodging, but I also had a lot of armor. Jesus, Nick, we got the floor right at me. Well, he poked me. 
He poked me. He poked me. Back. Much as squids are wont to do, yeah. it is floating aggressively at you while firing projectiles. <laughs> Wow, he doesn't have any form of ink attack, does he? No. Nope. I don't think any of the cephalopods do in these games. Fucking useless ass game designers. There's only two in the X games, right? Yeah, there's one in the Zero games. Yeah. Who's basically just Where's as boss again? Yeah, but he's ice. He's ice crack. Oh, that's right, he is! I was just looking at those spreadsheets yesterday, or else I would not have remembered that. Damn. Zero games ripped off the X games? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously kidding. God, they have characters zero and everything. What the shit? Jesus. Be more original, guys. Wait, what the fuck happened that time? You took less hits. <laughs> you were holding out on us. You could have done that in one life the whole time. Probably. You sandbagging showboat. My talents come and go. <laughs> I'm not drunk enough for this. Hold on. So honey water, huh? Yeah, honey water with lemon. It really looks like olive oil. <laughs> Let me just drink this grease. Well, I'm still at rank SA. Oh, God, yeah. useless. Not good enough. <laughs> Life, right? Yeah. Oh. I mean, up until I realized how this system works, and I don't like how this system works, <laughs> I mean, basically just always go like, because why would you not? <laughs> For any reason, like, really, name one instance where an energy boost would be helpful in this game. Well, at zero, not. As X, though. <laughs> like, in general, just across the board. I well, have... if you weren't using the Falcon or the Gaia armor, or the fourth armor. So if you suck, then. I haven't even played this game as X since I was a teenager. You're missing out. Pro uh, probably. Well, I, I had other things to focus on. Like fighting this game as zero. Yeah. Well, you merge you this. Say, I'm gonna drink! Oh, that's a good idea. Mitch, would you like anything? Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, I'll get you some dishwater. Thank you. Oh, I was gonna get you a do, but apparently you finished all them off! So which good roses member is this? This is no one, but if you go to page two... <laughs> yeah, I do have a song association for him. Well, that's page three. Oh, it's double-sided. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. I love the Nick manual. <laughs> hold on. Subsection B. You, yeah. have, you have taken preparation farther than I have. <laughs> hey, so you want to explain? Hey, bro. What's oh, going on? No, oh, you're stop. just a surfer dude. Yeah. Don't well, you do I like, it. I like surfer dynamo. Hey, you want to explain the song association bullshit? You so basically, here? based on like who they're based on, what their character is, and maybe... All other sorts of shit. I was just like, this song might work well. With Dynamo, it's literally just, I heard the song and I was like, this is kind of Dynamo-ish. <laughs> so that's it. It's an association specifically just because it made me think of it. Beginning and end, it's like, huh, yeah. It's that one guy in that game. Yeah, like like just the, the guitar parts were like, okay, it feels <laughs> Dynamo-y. Uh, what song is it? So it's Let It Roll by Velvet Revolver on their second album, Libertad. Okay, so wait. Who the fuck is Velvet Revolver? I, I was about to say that, then you yelled super loud. <laughs> you I startled the information right out of me. <laughs> Velvet Revolver is a band formed largely by former Guns N' Roses members. There's actually information in that in the packet. If you oh my god. I just realized that, that really is just like a knockoff Guns N' Roses title. Yeah. Whoa! What attack was that? That was his buster. He only used it if you're using zero. Otherwise, with X, he does a saber slash, because he has elements of both of them. Oh, that almost bums me out. I wish he used both and both. Yeah. Well, well I'm having two thousand two. I think that's it. Past Guns uh, and Roses members. Oh, I thought that was like a, an actual sentence. That's <laughs> okay. So that's the whole thought. Uh, yeah, just just the notes. Oh, uh, this is the same as X's yep. dialogue. Adios, amigo. So, I will never not point this out in a recording. Dynamo is one of the only other fucking characters in the franchise besides X, Zero, and Mac that actually has his own teleport animation. Oh yeah, that's right. Which is yet another reason why Dynamo is the fucking best. <laughs> Where are we off to next, Nick? Okay, now we are finally dealing with Grizzle Slizzle. Sweet! I love Deadly Twizzler. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping I could think of, like, a better first half of that, but I don't <laughs> care. 
I wasn't too invested in it. Just the right level of fucks to get. Teddy Ruxpin. Damn it, Teddy Twizzler. Fuck. <laughs> so obviously, this guy's based off of Slash, who is Guns N' Roses guitarist until 91, I want to say. I'm glad I was right on the guitar. Uh, He's the only one that I'm really aware of. Yeah. Guitarist, comma, backing vocals from 1985 to 1996. Yeah, no one cares about backing vocals. And the prison. Yeah, yeah, he and uh, Duff McKagan are currently touring with Guns N' Roses again. So Spoilers. Kind of cool. oh, There's a guy named Duff. Yeah. Is that actually that guy's name? Yes. Wow. Named after a Simpsons beer. <laughs> blah, 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 blue corn. So, you know what? I'll get to it when we get to it. Oh, right. We have special weapons now. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, techniques. That's extremely useful. Yeah, it is. I mean... It's not really a particularly difficult part, but that's still pretty cool. Yeah, it beats you up a heck of a lot. Heck of a lot. Doesn't that uh, technique explode on the ground, too? It like, does, but I don't think that does any, like, splash damage. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. You can show it off. I mean, without dying. Ah, oh, that really doesn't do any splash damage. That is a gigantic Where's weapon. my... Where's my gel shaper? That is... Uh, goo shaper. Oh, evil... Oh, right. That means Wait, you have the coolest right. weapon. So apparently, Jesus, I was mixing up all my shit. I can't believe I just did that. It's fine. It's so professional. <laughs> you were talking about the ice squid, so it's perfectly acceptable. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they're also blue. They're both blue. Exactly. But, um... What the fuck was I just gonna ask? Oh, you know that if you continue button mashing the attack button when you're doing E-Blade, mm -hmm. uh, you'll go higher, apparently. Oh. Which I... I noticed I could affect the duration of the attack. I didn't notice I could affect the altitude. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that that basically just means that the duration is directly proportional to how high you go, so if it's going longer, it just continues going up. I can't help but notice you're not lightning wing things. Went there. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm, I know you do. So, fun fact, on the uh, sprite sheet map, this truck is a completely different thing. <laughs> so, like, when I was going through making all the assets for the games, there was, like, the whole long stage, and then just an entire other layer of the background, and then the one truck at the very end. So it's like, <laughs> okay, that seems like an unnecessary way to do it, but whatever. Also, the moon is a uh, completely separate sprite, which makes sense, but once you land, I think it becomes part of the background. Or that's just where this part she first decided to put it. Guns of Roses was born in 1985. <laughs> I picture that coming up with like a 90s infotainment <laughs> video sort of graphic on the bottom. Like just. The more you know. Exactly. That's real annoying. His feet are uh, sprited in a way that would make the angle of the ground reversed. Yeah. Like he's standing on a downward slope if yes. what we're looking at is an upward. And I hate it now. He's my least favorite boss spray because of that. I just <laughs> noticed that now. <laughs> it started at the decaps being uneven. This is where I'm at, uh, focus-wise. Yep. Let's see this, uh, Twizzler Bear's feet. Too bad they're not Twizzler feet. That would be pretty great. He's got a drill. That's kind of like a Twizzler. Yeah. In that it's spirally. I almost kind of wish the Zero got, like, a dash forward attack from him with, like, just a drill mode on the saber or something. That'd be pretty cool. But I guess the Crescent thing does make sense for him. Why do they all talk so much more to Zero? Why? No one gives a shit about that. Come on. Do your two current new techniques do any extra damage to I you? I doubt it. Oh, don't die trying to find out. Yeah. I mean, he's a ground type, so there's no way the electric. <laughs> You're right. Teddy Twizzler. But that's Izzy Stardust. The Whale. What are you even saying? And Squid Adler. And the Red. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Zero! God damn it! <laughs> I was so focused on those It's okay, games. you get to hear a little bit more of that awesome stage music. <laughs> what would you say your favorite stage music is? 
Oh boy, I really like uh, Izzy Glow, yeah. Axel the Red, and Matrix might be my top three overall. Really, this one isn't on your list for that? I like it a lot. I, like, I, I really like all the music in this game. I, I like most of it. Like, I think the important thing is I don't really dislike any of it, but it has a kind of like low plateau and then it sharply goes up with um, Izzy Glow's and Vendors and Slashes. It's just like, oh man. How do you feel about the stages overall? They're... They're hot. Um, <laughs> actually, at the very end of Burn Dynarex's level, uh, when you're jumping off the rope, sometimes this bat will generate with a bomb, and it'll hit you, and it'll just careen straight into the magma. I love the so, bats. That's so, like... That would make me so mad, but at the same time, I love that it exists. <laughs> it's really funny. Energy. I do want, and that's the most important one, by the way. This is the most important instance of me taking energy. Because it's a thing I'm gonna do that Zero's not supposed to be able to do, but I'm gonna do it with him. Awesome! Yeah! I wonder what it is! Oh man, it's gonna be so cool. You're, gonna, you're gonna be so impressed. I'm actually excited. <laughs> Just get up and take the disc out of the system. <laughs> so, Nick, I What's can't up? help but notice in this handy dandy document. Yep. You have, like, weapons for all the bosses except for Matrex and Aimer, and now I think. 